This class is dedicated to the elevation of the soul of David Lee Ben Robert Leroy Arner. Shalom Aleichem. So much greatness is treasured in this world and the evil inclination, the Yetzirah, is putting all its effort to break our self-esteem, to destroy us, to make us so poor in our own eyes, for us not to understand and not to be able even to dream of the greatness, the amazing potential that is ready for each and every one of us. HaKadosh Baruch Hu blessed Avraham Ko Iye Zaracha. That's how your seed will be blessed, going to be. And when he said Ko, like the word so, it means like something, like someone. But he did not mention like what, but he said it to Avraham. Ko, like that, will be your seed. And the holy sages explained that the blessing that Hashem said to Avraham is like that wonderful tale that I'll tell you right now. There was a person who walked in the desert and was thirsty for water, tired, wanted shade to chill himself somewhere in the hot and dry desert. But no matter where he looked, he could not find any source of water to relax his spirit. And then he saw a tree, started to walk towards that tree and found a beautiful tree full of fruits standing above a spring of water. The person was happy, saw the beautiful tree with his beautiful branches, beautiful fruits, took from the fruits, ate from them, washed himself and drank from the water of the spring, sat in the shade of the tree under his leaves and branches. And after that he was refreshed and good, stood up to continue in his journey, to continue in his path. But he felt the need to express his gratitude to the tree. Therefore he said, Tree, tree, ilan, ilan, b'me'avarchecha, what blessing I shall bless you. If I want to bless you that you'll be nice and good, healthy, you're already nice and good and healthy. If I will want to bless you to have sweet fruits, you already have sweet fruits. If I will bless you to sit in a place, to stand in a place that is close to the water source, to a spring, you're already located in the most perfect place of them all. So in what shall I bless you? I will bless you that all the plantings that will ever be planted from you will be as successful as you, that they will be as you are. This is what Hashem said to Avraham. If I want to bless you to be righteous and good, you're already righteous and good. If I will want to bless you to have a righteous woman and great, you're already married to a wonderful and great woman. If I will want to bless you with righteous children, you're already blessed with righteous children. So, in what I can bless you? What I can bless you with? I can bless you that as you are, all your plantings will be as you. Ko yezav echa. As you are, Avraham, all your plantings will be, all your children, next generations will be. That great blessing is a huge wake-up call to each and every single one of us. You are a fruit from an amazing tree. 
And inside of you there is the same nature, the same DNA, spiritual and physical DNA of your root, of your ancestors, of Avraham, of Yitzchak, of Yaakov, of the Holy Mothers. And we should remember that and not to allow the evil inclination that breaks and is crushing our self-esteem to kill our dream and our hope for greatness, for great salvation, for all our people, for all the good souls in the world. We must believe in ourselves that it's in our power to reveal the loving kindness of Hashem, that it's really part of our mission and that we're able to do so. We're able to pull down the great bounty the light of redemption and to bring it down to the world. Great stories. Um, before I started this live session, our simple conversation, I was holding one of my most amazing books, learning from it stories on how Moshe Rabbeinu passed away, the last hours of Moshe Rabbeinu. Can only I was I was only able to cry in front of the camera if I would read it for you right now. So I held myself back, stopping myself from uh, from reading that. It's not the time yet, but Bezat Hashem, I will tell you that definitely, with the help from heaven, to do so. But I really want you to to know that thing. We need to understand the greatness and the importance of our souls is so great, is so powerful. We think to ourselves that we are poor, that we are weak, that we are weak souls. But I want you to understand the truth. The real truth is that we are the most powerful souls that survived the longest way of them all, of all the rest of the souls that already passed away, we are the ones who, until today, keep on fighting. We are those ones that are surviving. Inside the person, every person, there is a rope of, of a soul. And that rope is hidden, but it's tied above our heads and it's going up and it's built out of many many strings many many strings are building composing this rope now when a child is being born to the world so he's receiving one of those threads one of those strings that came from the soul of his parents. And this is the foundation of your soul. Now, that soul of yours is actually the soul that was until now inside the body and the spiritual body of your parents. And the soul that was handed and given to your parents was also a soul that was inside that rope inside of their parents, your grandparents. So your soul was also inside that soul that was inside the soul of your grandparents and your great-grandparents and your great-great-grandparents. All the way back. So it means that your soul, even though that now forgetfulness fell upon you and you do not remember earlier lifetimes of yours, but still your soul remembers. Like that the Zohar is, Zohar HaKadosh is saying, Af al gav de'ihu lo chaze, mazal lechaze even though that he cannot see, his soul can see. 
So you don't remember because there is a limitation of a gigabyte in your mind that is blocking you from full connection to the ancient archives of your soul. But your soul is above time and also above place. So your soul experience the life that she was experiencing in all the bodies, in all the vehicles that were carrying it from the beginning of time, from the first men, from Adam HaRishon. Now, if you will look back and you will just understand how many challenges, how many ups and downs, how many fires, how many plagues, how many difficulties, how many dangers, how many risks your soul, your brave soul went through until today, you're going to understand that it's more than all the souls of your ancestors. And it's not for an empty reason why you are here in this generation, that this generation is the darkest one, is the lowest one, with the greatest challenges of them all, because darkness fell down to the world, and confusions and huge stupidity came down to the world, and everyone are blind to see the light of Hashem. But the Creator, He believes in us, he believes in our power and in our great potential to rise and shine and to succeed. And therefore, He is still walking with us as His true soldiers, special forces units on earth, behind the enemy lines, to keep His words, to follow His advice and to keep His commandments and to do our job. And He believes in us. And that's why He sent us to this place. For us to be the ones that we are. And to shine the light of our true souls. And to be honest and truthful. In every part of the way. Every step of the way. So believe in yourselves. And don't fall to that trap of low self-esteem and self-criticism slash self-slaughtering. Just be positive with yourselves. Give yourself a chance and understand that this life challenges is not simple, but we are here to win and to succeed and to shine the light of truth, the light of our maker on earth. So don't give up and don't back off and don't walk away and keep on giving your hands to others to save their lives as well, to share holy and pure wisdom with them, with all your loved ones and your surroundings, and to spread the light, to spread the light of truth in the world. And Bezat Hashem, it will shine in such great light that the redemption will take place in our days and we will be united as one in front of the house of Hashem in Yerushalayim, Zion, bowing, praising, thanking, and enjoying the greatness and glory of our Maker in our days. Amen. Project all the nations with me, close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth, don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news, be yourself, your own true self, don't let no one take our natural wealth, see the good, no fear, no despair, cherish who that you are, and share. Source of power, from an endless spring, like a flower, it will bloom, and blossom, 
in your selfishness. They can kick you down to the ground. Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown. King of the creator, holy soul inside. Focus on the spiritual and